people have ruined it to work in a casino. What some of the saddest moments you witnessed? Former poker dealer at a casino. An older gentleman started to have a heart attack at the table. I called the floor person for assistance with the call button. Paramedics rushed in etc. All within minutes. I'm this instance I am instructed to keep the game rolling by the floor person as he whispered in my ear. Two hands are dealt and played and a player at the table requested the heart attack guy get moved somewhere else as it is disrupting the game. Another player asked to have his chips picked up and call for the open seat because we have a wait list. I was disgusted. I saw a poker dealer have an epileptic seizure at the table. The paramedics hadn't even arrived before players were complaining about getting another dealer or requesting a table change while the dealer was seizing on the floor next to them. A guy blew his retirement and had to go back to work. He was a retired postmaster and went back as a delivery driver. Oh no. There were these two middle-aged Greek or Cypriot ladies who were always on the slot machines. Every day when I started my shift they were there and they were there when I finished 10 hours later. And still they're in the same clothes the next day oftentimes. They were super nice and always polite to the staff. One day they hit the jackpot and win big, I think it was either 15 pounds k or 45 pounds k. It was a good few years ago now. Everyone was overjoyed for them, except the managers obviously. Well the managers then gave them free meals at the restaurant and an open bar tab until every single penny of that money was clawed back into the casino. We used to have a woman who would be on the blackjack tables for 5 days nights straight. Her husband would call and tell her that her kids wanted her home. Her boss actually came to the casino to try and get her to leave. She was missing work. I don't know what happened to her but she's probably ruined her life. We also had a few regulars commit suicide and a few go to jail. Former valet at a casino. The amount of daily regulars who drove barely functioning vehicles full of trash, roaches, and rats who would actually valet their car and go gamble away any money they had to their name was honestly depressing. The saddest I remember was a 90 plus year old lady who drove a 91 Corolla and when we got in her car we realized she had no power steering fluid at all and her steering wheel would barely turn. I have no earthly idea how her frail arms could turn it. We went and bought her some before she left that evening. That was really nice of you to do. During my 8 hours shift a gentleman won $15,000 on a slot machine. Punched out at end of shift and had the next 2 days off. Returned to work after my weekend to find the man still sitting at the same slot machine. He had been there for 2 plus days losing $15,000. If you win that much money, pretty much have the mentality in which you will never win this much again. I live next to Atlantic City and when I'm up like $50 I walk out of the casino and play in the ocean for a few hours. I always feel as if the casino paid me to have a fun beach day. A previous boss of mine worked at a casino in AC. He said he saw all kinds of terrible things but the worst was when they had to close the main lobby cause a guy jumped from the 4th floor after losing. It's not the big things, it's the little things. You see someone rocking 3 machines at 9am on a Tuesday, they have places they ought to be, not in this casino. Thanksgiving, Christmas, heck, even Mother's Day, places slammed. Go home people. My mom works as a dealer at a casino and has told me multiple stories of grown men wearing adult diapers at the table so they don't have to leave to use the restroom. As a Vegas regular I can attest it is orders of magnitude worse when they do not wear the diapers. I worked with a woman who would pee away an entire 2 week paycheck within 15 minutes after getting off work and then she'd start writing checks and hitting the ATM right after. Her family was ruined eventually and things got so bad for them financially that her husband killed himself. She got a life insurance settlement or some sort of fund upon his death and blew it all gambling within a month. Her dad died not long after and left her inheritance and she lost all that within 2 months. No idea whatever happened to her but she was absolutely insane. It's been about 15 years, but I worked in one for about 4 years the one that stands out was a woman who came from the country to the big city to get ex Mars gifts for the whole family, including young kids who still believed in Santa and all of that, but spent all of the Christmas money at the casino before going to the mall. Also, a few years later I went back to visit, and when talking to one of the pit bosses about who was still there and what not, she told me one of my old regulars who was actually nice and likable, a rare tray in that business. 
had recently committed suicide as a result of gambling too much. Addiction is a horrible disease. We had to evacuate and close down for the rest of the day due to a burst pipe causing no running water. When I walked outside there was an elderly lady throwing a legit tantrum in the parking lot. She was on the ground kicking and screaming. Her screams sounded like something you'd expect from someone who just lost a family member. Not someone who had to leave the casino for a few hours. I left but some of the security who were dealing with her told me later she was too upset to drive home and they had to call a family member to pick her up. I've seen some crap. A lot of what others have commented is fairly common but this was definitely the most messed up. Sheesh. It's literally an addict in withdrawal. Grandmother, mother, and daughter heading to the casino by car from 2 hours away. The mother had a postcard to get a free cast iron pan for showing up. Daughter is more than 8 months pregnant. 1 hour away from the casino daughter starts to have labor pains. Mother won't stop and take her to the hospital. She's got to have that. $10. Pan. They arrive at the casino an hour before the promotion was going to start. Mother raises all heck trying to get her pan but the workers for the promo haven't arrived yet. Daughter ends up having to be transported by ambulance to the hospital. All over a $10 pan. Did she ever get the pan? In general, people who come for the first time and are super nice and friendly. They don't care about winning or losing much just came to have fun. They come back a few more times, then after a few years they're regulars that don't smile anymore. They don't laugh, they don't count their wins, just their losses, and sweat every comp point they earn and act like gambling is their job now and the focus of their life. I've seen more than one person have this happen to them. The other saddest thing is when a regular stops coming in and their spouse comes out and tells us they passed. We're almost family with some of our regulars and it hurts to get that news. I did casino security for 3 years before I became a police officer. Had a code M. Medical. Early early one morning, around 4 or 5 am. Old guy in his 80s passed out and fell out of his chair. Wife sitting next to him. I was the first to get a him. Did a quick assessment and found he didn't have a pulse. Immediately started CPR. The old lady looked over and said oh he does this all the time. Don't worry about him. Between chest compressions. I told her he wasn't breathing and she just kept playing her a lot machine. She didn't miss a spin even when the paramedics took him away. I saw her again the next night and asked how he was doing. With the straightest face ever. She said. Oh he never woke up. I'm sure he's in a freezer by now, and went right back to the same machine she was playing the night before. That reaction sounds like 20% gambling addiction and 80% bad half century of marriage. <laughs> Worked in a casino for about 7 years and the one that has always stuck with me was when a kid, 18 stroke 19, came with his friends and lost $100 playing blackjack. Then he was sitting there, looking dejected and watching his friends win. He left and came back with another $100. I could tell from the way he was acting he probably didn't have the original $100 to lose so he definitely couldn't afford to lose another $100. So I asked if he was sure he wanted to play. He nodded his head and solemnly said yes. Unfortunately he lost that money too. 200 is a lot better than what I've read so far. Hopefully he learned something that day. I worked at a casino as a dealer through college. A lot of incidents were pretty sad, especially with regulars that you liked. One regular would tell me about his middle school age kids, and then I would realize the next week or so later that he was missing their school plays recitals etc because he was at the tables. I remember working an overnight one Christmas Eve and begging him to go home when 6 stroke 7 am rolled around because his kids would be up and opening presents. Other times just people screaming at you for stealing their mortgage payments from them that month. Then seeing them back again the next day. I worked a small casino for a couple of years and have seen many. The sadness ultimately made me quit. Can't tell you how many times I've seen people gamble their entire paycheck and either cry and leave in shame or get mad and try to fight me or stuff. A bit late since there's been so many comments. But nevertheless I got something. Not a worker. But had an uncle addicted to gambling. Worst thing that happened was he used all of his money, lost his job from it, begged for more money which led to him going to the casino again to spend it. Then he went homeless, and any money they went to gambling again. A vicious cycle where he slept on park benches and spent any time on gambling at the nearest casino. 
Found out all this one day when he walked by my house with a huge beard, looking like he hadn't showered or eaten in a long time. Good ending. Eventually his mom, my grandmother, took him back in when he begged for a place to stay. I now live with him. He works a full time job with nice pay, and doesn't drink or gamble anymore. Not the best at managing his money at times, but it's safe to say he's far from where he started. I don't work in a casino, but live near Atlantic City. Seeing unattended children playing near the entrance to the casino floor where children aren't allowed. You brought your kids to a casino where kids aren't allowed, and just left them in a hallway. I went to a casino for the first time a few years ago with a group for my mother-in-law's birthday. There were signs everywhere stating that it is a crime to leave children unattended in your car in the parking lot. Pretty freaking sad. A woman approximately mid-30s dancing her butt off on the dance floor of the nightclub and suddenly dropped dead. I watched her die. All the time a VIP booth was packed, drinks flowing, everybody picking on the guy that passed out. End of night comes and they tell us he is going to need a wheelchair. Not uncommon. Guy was dead a good hour. The deaths always bug me. Casinos get a treatment similar to airports. The unspoken rule is to treat them as if alive until they get off the premises. Even if they are an hour dead. The goal is to get them out as quickly as possible without freaking out the patrons. New Year's was always stressful. It was never a question if someone would die that night. It was a question of how many. A good year would be one. One year we had four. Comma the unspoken rule is to treat them as if alive until they get off the premises. Fun fact. Similarly, no one ever officially dies at Disney World. Not a casino employee. My story comes from my time in the military. Slot machines are everywhere in Germany. The small post I was on had a few slot machines in a back room of the bowling alley. One of our uncos would go every payday and blow his entire paycheck over lunch. We would know if he won or not by the mood he was in after lunch. When he won he would tell us about winning $600 after dropping $1500 into the machine. I saw that happen a lot in Okinawa as well. There was an co in my barracks that would hit up the junior enlisted for 20 bucks at a time when he was on a streak. A couple that used to come gamble at a casino I worked at killed themselves after losing too much money. Same casino had a patron whose son came in to tell her to stop and that she couldn't keep gambling the family's money away. She would easily lose over 10,000 on a lot of days she went in. You get pretty desensitized to the plight of the gambler at your table but the double suicide and the yelling son stuck with me. Had a player in higher limits whose wife came in telling him that they needed to go to the hospital. Apparently their son had a stroke. He was still there by the end of my shift. Not a casino worker, but I know of a guy who sold his car to a loan shark pimp after losing $80,000 in two days. He even went to the DMV and transferred the title to a prostitute. Then when he got out of his fog, he used his spare key and found the car. He took it. He was pulled over for driving a stolen vehicle. Not sure how his court case went. Ro, talk about your dangerous liaisons. Not a casino, but volunteered at a local fireman's carnival bingo night. Twenty something lady was playing quarter per game bingo with roll after roll of silver quarters. I tried explaining to her that they were worth more than a quarter and she didn't care and kept playing with a look of desperation in her eyes. Never won a game that night. In my mind, she was blowing through a coin collection that her parent or grandparent had carefully put together. Parents used to own a small casino, 15-ish tables, $100 limits, I worked weekends in the cage, employees were allowed to gamble once off shift, and I watched one guy, after getting off of work around 7pm, proceed to lose his house payment, car payment, child support, max out his credit cards, Everything by the time we closed at 6 a.m. I wasn't a huge gambler before that, but seeing that firsthand scared me off of taking any chances in a casino beyond casual playing. Not a casino, but the most horrible thing I remember hearing about a girl in the army, stationed in GA. She had a newish baby and would buckle baby in the car seat and drive across the bridge to SC to gamble. It gets hot as heck in GA, and this woman one day went to the casino. Parked her car on the far side of the parking lot, 
just past or behind a dumpster. Other patrons remember her getting up occasionally and looking out the door but being there pretty much the whole entire day. That evening when she drove back on base she looked in the back seat and noticed that the baby was clearly in distress. Baby had in fact been dead for some hours was in very bad shape eyes bulging. Weird bubbles coming out of its mouth. Just dang awful. She left her infant in the car seat to bake to death in the sun. While she gambled her military pay away. Absolutely disgusting. This is so horrible. Dult poker in a casino for 3 years. One of my fellow dealers was arrested on the gaming floor during our shift for stealing rake. I had told him a week or so earlier to be less obvious about it. We had clear tip boxes. He had custody of his 4 kids. Emphasis on had. Not a casino but a charity poker room at a bowling alley where I was a dealer. Guy was pretty drunk and just so bad at poker. Kept losing the max by in $300 and would go straight to the ATM and Rabuai. With every Rabuai the desperation became greater and greater. I just wanted to tell him to pack it up before he lost more but that would have probably cost me my job. Eventually I think he must have emptied his bank account. I had never seen someone lose so much money in one night. I was on a cruise when I was 18. First time gambling on a casino and learning a little blackjack. I was at the $10 minutes I think max was $300. Table and was betting the minimum each hand. The guy across the table was drunk and betting the max each hand. I watched him split, double down, and lose over and over and over. He just kept making stupid calls and must have lost $20k in about 15 minutes. I went to a casino once and in the washroom there was a grown man bawling his eyes out telling me he lost everything. It still haunts me how utterly destroyed this guy looked. Very, very sad. This was 20 years ago and I haven't stepped foot in one since. Atlantic City around 20 years ago. One of the three times I tried gambling in my life. Saw an elderly couple crying while talking to a security guard they were telling him they had no money to pay the tolls to get home. I remember thinking the security guard was a real butthole. No emotion on his face as he told them they had to leave the casino. After they left though, he announced to everyone who had stopped to listen that the casino had already given them money to get home which they had turned around and gambled away, putting them back at square one. I don't know what was worse seeing an elderly couple cry, seeing this dude just jaded by his terribly necessary job, or just seeing that side of gambling. I'm grateful I was never bitten by that bug. Security guard see them same excuses multiple times every single day. Can't blame him. I worked at one in Vegas for about 6 years. Suicides. So many suicides. Comma Z not a casino story. However in NC gambling hasn't always been legal. A few years ago I was helping manage a local grocery store and we had a regular. She was always pleasant, always got her things and left quickly, until the scratch off dispensing machine was installed. Within less than a month she went from chipper old blonde lady to the strange wrinkled witch at the scratch off machine. She'd spend her entire month's social security within a few minutes, scurry to the next store to test her luck and come back to me. It was an everyday thing that came out of nowhere. She spent her brother's prescription money and begged me to sell her a Powerball ticket because she might win him some chemo and he'd be thankful. Needless to say that was one of my last lottery sales. Not a casino worker, but I had to assist someone with the aftermath of a casino binge. In my job in, insurance, of all things. Early in my career, I worked for a small town insurance agency. Had a call one day from a man who needed to add a lien holder to his and his wife's cars which has previously been paid off. The name was one of those skeevy loan places, so obviously something has gone wrong. Dude proceeds to tell me that he and the wife, though in reality, it could have just been him, had gone to the casinos, spent too much, and he had to take out a loan with the cars as collateral, and, he wanted to make sure his wife didn't find out. Would we be mailing anything about this? Could we not? Had to tell him that the insurance company was required to mail out updated deck pages, and there was nothing I could do to stop that, so his only chance would be to beat her to the mail. God, I hope she beat him to the mail, and nailed him to the wall. My dad worked at a casino and still went there and gambled away all our money and ran up credit card maxes. My parents made probably regular middle class money, yet because of him we lived poor. 
don't work in a casino, but I go to a smaller casino here in Vegas where a lot of locals go to play. Lady hits 40k on an Akino game. After she got paid out she was walking around giving all her friends and people she chats with hundred dollar bills. I left shortly after because I just go to buy smokes and play my change here and there so I'm not sure if she played more that night. About a week later she was in there playing every time I went in to buy smokes so I'm sure that money disappeared quickly. Comma lady hits 40k on an Akino game. After she got paid out she was walking around giving all her friends and people she chats with hundred dollar bills. I wonder how many of those friends are going to help her out with the unexpected tax bill that's coming. My wife worked at the gift shop of a casino a few years back. From the store you could see the majority of the main floor. She noticed a guy sitting at a slot machine for the majority of her shift and he was still there when she went home. She comes back in the following morning and the same guy is still there playing. A few hours go by and he leaves and goes to the bathroom. Not 30 minutes pass until there's managers and EMTs rushing to the bathroom. Turns out the guy had lost all of his money and savings on that machine and decided to slit his wrists in the bathroom. The whole thing really shook her up for a few days after it all happened. I had an aunt and uncle that worked in one of the casinos up in Black Hawk company. They would see a spike in business when social security and welfare checks came out. Most of those people would gamble away the only money they received once a month. I heard a similar story about horse racing in or in the 1970s. SS check day was the biggest day at the track. Not a casino, but a hotel attached to a casino. We sometimes have VIP guests who have their room paid for by the casino. Anyways, one of the regulars had to be dragged out by local PD. Turns out he robbed a couple of gas stations to fuel his habit. I wasn't there, but heard about it from the night audit agents. I don't work at a casino, but I have family that are farmers in a rural part of my state where a casino was built on an Indian reservation. Many, many, many of my family's neighbors bet and lost their entire farms. And my great uncle and his neighbor had purchased a very expensive piece of farm equipment together that they shared that ended up being repossessed because of the neighbor's gambling. My uncle was out thousands and was p. I'm curious what happens to the land after that. One night people were playing at a row of slot machines. I don't know if they knew each other, but one in the middle collapses and fell to the floor. EMTs were called, and started loading her onto the gurney to wheel her out to the ambulance. The other players just kept feeding the slot machines. Never looked down. Never asked what's up with her. Just kept on playing. Cold. Watching the video feed as per outside unit tried and failed to revive a dead guy he found face down in the parking lot and his wife gets out of the car to see them call it. She didn't take it well. Watched multiple families realize that they'd just lost their life savings. Caught a group of kids, they were all over 18, but none were 21. Doing them in the parking lot. Sent them off with the cops. The conversation with parents when they realized what was going on was not fun. Watched a kid that worked in valet total a handicapped guy's car that had all of his assistive stuff in it. There's more, but that comes to mind brother works in a casino. People bring babies all the time and leave them with slightly older siblings in an adjacent gas station rest stop pretty much all day. I know I'm late to the party but I have one that has stuck with me. Five year employee at a casino. An older couple, 60s, would come in 5-7 nights a week. The casino term is they are avid experienced players. Addicted. She would go upstairs to play slots and he would play cards down stars. A sizable group of executive level casino employees made their way to her machine and asked her to have a quick word in private. She refused to leave the machine. They attempted a game to ask her to speak in private, but she very forcefully declined to leave. She demanded to know what they wanted, so one of the members let her know that her husband had a heart attack and he was being rushed to a nearby hospital. Her response give me his wallet and went back to the machine. Broke my heart, even when I think about it more than a decade later. He died that night. She didn't leave until the next morning. About 15 years ago, I was a bar manager bartender at a casino. I had a lot of regulars. I got to the point that I knew what drink people wanted and how often they would want one, and what they would switch to based on wins or losses. I had a regular family that gambled together. A father, mother and daughter, who was about my age. 
After a year or two of seeing them come in at least once sometimes twice a week, we got to know each other pretty well. The parents would always try to set me up with the daughter. She wasn't my type and I was in a relationship at the time so I always let them down easy. Anyway, it came to pass that the father got diagnosed with terminal cancer. Mother and daughter came in way more often, almost every day, complaining of the high medical bills every chance they got, how the father was suffering so much, etc. I felt so bad for the father, knowing he was dying of cancer and instead of having family there for him. They were at the casino spending money that may or not have been needed on medical bills and end of life care. Regardless of the money, seeing them at the casino while he suffered alone was a lot to deal with. I wish I could have said something, but I needed my job more than moral high ground. After he passed away, the mother and daughter were in the next day. I brought their drinks. I also brought his favorite drink, a white Russian. The mother cried. She stopped coming in as much for a little while. I don't feel like it was a spiteful act, but I think it did put things into perspective for them. Probably too little too late. I was invited to the funeral but unfortunately had to work. They were way better tippers when the father was alive, and after he died a mother would order as many screwdrivers as I was legally allowed to give her. I can't remember if it was one an hour or every other hour. So she and her daughter started really having a crippling gambling addiction as well as possibly developing alcoholism. I hope they are better now. They were excellent, nice caring people, who had an addiction. I dislike gambling to this day. I may have been in a casino less than 5 times in the last 10 years, mostly to eat at the buffets, which are amazing at some places and absolute garbage at others, and to occasionally play table games, actual cards instead of machines. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.